This is the first support video on the DDJ WeGo where we plan to show you everything you need to get started. First off, I'll show you the unit and go over the features. Then, I'll show you how to connect up to your sound system and update your firmware. Finally, we'll install Virtual DJ and get you started. Let's take a look. Here we've got the WeGo. You'll notice it's very portable and compact and perfect for fitting in your backpack. It's also powered entirely by the USB cable, so there's no need to carry around an external power supply. On the right side of the unit, you've got your RCA cables, Kensington lock, and microphone input. On the other side, you've got your USB input, power switch, and the headphone inputs, which take a mini jack or the large quarter inch jack. Now let's update your firmware. For this, you'll need your laptop and internet access. Pull up pioneerdj.com support. I've already got it up here, so once you do that, we'll scroll on down to the WeGo. Hover your mouse over software download. Give that a click and click the firmware button. Agree with the terms and conditions and then begin your download. While that's downloading, we need to get the WeGo ready to update, so power it off. Then, when you power it back on, hold down the two Q buttons in the middle of the unit. This will set it to firmware update mode. You can confirm that it's worked by the flashing channel meters in the middle. Now we'll go find the firmware file and run the update. It's a zip file. You'll have to unzip it first. And then the updater file is actually a .jar. Give that a click and we'll start the update. The installer will tell you which version you're starting with and what you're updating to. This may take a few moments. When the update is complete, the lights will flash on the WeGo, letting you know that it's finished. Now that your firmware is up to date, let's go ahead and install Virtual DJ LE. So, we'll run the installer. The installation is fairly simple. All you have to do is follow the instructions on screen. If you're using Windows, you need to go back in and install the ASIO driver, which is included on the WeGo CD-ROM. Once the installation is complete, go ahead and open up Virtual DJ. I'll walk you through loading up a couple tracks so that you can begin mixing. Use the browsing encoder here at the top to scroll through your tracks. Then hit the load button here to load it to the deck. In the next videos, I'll show you how to use Virtual DJ LE in depth with the WeGo. In the future, we'll cover using Tractor with the WeGo.